Well, 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 and we have a winner. Congratulations, Miss Stephanie Starr. Ironic that you have the same name on this thing as my daughter. And for those of you that don't read the comments, below the militia versus virus comment, she said that uh, that video was from Brenda, not Naya. And she's absolutely right. And uh, good to see. Good to see. Now, what I want y'all to know is I deal with that difference, that Brenda versus Naya thing, every moment of every day. So let's recap. What is it like on the Brenda side of this? Well, for one thing, she was uh, abused from being a baby uh, most of her childhood and uh, saw abuses that you can't even imagine, received and saw abuses that you can't even imagine that they wouldn't put in a movie. Then I left and became married to two very abusive husbands, uh, raped very violently four different times in four very different ways, moved over 150 times, I don't even know how many jobs, was a nurse in very traumatic circumstances, uh, had at one point my best friend and my husband and my mother conspire to put me in the insane asylum so that my husband could get my best friend, my best friend could get my husband, and my mother could get my son. So on a list, though, I've been kept Held, held captive without any way out for months. Uh, you name a thing that can happen to a person, it has happened to Brenda. Now, one would think under those circumstances that nothing Naya-ish could come out of that. But then I died, and I came back. And I didn't have any New Age history. I knew the basics of all religions because I'd looked into them. Uh, to see which one was basically right. Didn't find anything in particular, found that there was love in all of them, so I went with the love. So in spite of everything, I chose to look for love. But all of that stuff did have severe repercussions, and I considered myself very much a good person who bad, pe bad things had happened to. Very much a victim. Not a survivor at all. I felt like I was a victim. And I felt like no matter where I turned, people were really not good people. Then I died. And I came back, and over the years, as the years passed, I found out why, how, when, where, all of that had happened. And it occurred with my conception. And the genius of it all was that the switch was done I was put into a very broken, dysfunctional family and was abused as an infant. And after that, my creator, God's self, created the rest of it. Okay? Now, that's all they had to do was set me up at the wrong place, set in motion that one domino, the rest of it, the dominoes I set up, and I made sure they fell. Now, the Brenda part of me that has spent... 60 years feeling sorry for herself and how horrible these people were around me has responses in the world had triggers PTSD is huge for me and I respond instantly all the time to all of the trauma and drama that has happened to me over the years and it is non-stop it is endless and in doing that it tends to trigger a fear response which goes out to the universe and if I don't correct it immediately it will bring more bad things to me. I am aware of this. So the Naya part of me explained to the Brenda part of me how this all happened. How it all works. But it doesn't change the Brenda aspect me having to deal with what has happened to me over all this time. I've told you guys this. I'm no one's guru. I am having just as hard a time as you guys are. Always have. Probably always will. Because of this physical body's past. And the belief systems that I have in place over decades upon decades upon decades. The knowledge of it does ease up the difficulty in handling it somewhat. Um, I don't... I'm not, uh, I'm not just on this planet anymore at the risk of all these crazy people. I'm not. I know that I can control this. 
but I only ask so much of myself. I'm not going to, uh, I step through in baby steps, just like I tell you to. There is no way that Brenda, after what she's been through, even knowing what I know, is capable of looking at the, the planet like it's all rainbows and butterflies. Is, is it possible to look at the world like it's all rainbows and butterflies? Yes, it is. If you can do it, good for you. But I know me, I can't. Now, I also know why I can't, that that wasn't the point. If I would have come in and done all of those things like that, I couldn't have reached the vibrations in the deepest, darkest densities of 3D to help Gaia. All of it is for a bigger reason does not mean, <laughs> even though I know that, even though I know all of that, all of it is here for a reason, doesn't change the fact that on a human level, a Brenda level, I struggle with these past events all the time. I do a lot of self-talk. I do a lot of self-talk because something can trigger me and I can go into fear like that and I have to catch myself immediately. I have to talk myself out of it and through it. It's not that I'm asking you guys to do anything at all that I haven't been doing and am ongoingly doing. I've told you guys from the beginning that my videos are really focused more on star seeds that have been traumatized. That's really who I'm talking to. I'm really not talking to long-term humans that don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. I'm not talking to... Uh, whether I'm not talking to people who are happy-go-lucky and everything. They know how to work this. I'm talking to star seeds who have been traumatized. And you don't have to be traumatized as much as me. Gosh, I hope you're not. But one trauma will break you. Just one event, one time will break you. And it will set you on a road that will get worse and worse. I would very much like to catch anyone and get them to stop doing that with what I have to say. If it helps one person, that's good enough. It's worth three years and 600 videos for that alone. Um, I don't really care if you guys know that Brenda is struggling with these other issues. Um, I think I've told you that. It shouldn't be a surprise. For those of you who have gotten blinded uh, by the Naya videos and haven't heard the other side of it, as I've repeated it, I'll say it quite open and honestly. The last video with Militia versus Virus is very much Brenda. But you can allow your, your uh, traumatized version out, and you have to. You can't just box them away and play like they don't exist. They do. Now, I've got a huge advantage in that. Because I've got Stephanie right next to me. And Stephanie, the warriors are incredible. They're like long-term humans in that they have the ability to have a response, but they don't emanate that out to the universe to have it create, okay? Long-term human, like G-Man. G-Man can throw an absolute fit. So can Stephanie. But if you could see what I see, you would see that the vibration is not leaving them. It's not going out into the universe to be created based on that vibration. It is an experience that they are just experiencing and they hold it to themselves. It's absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely incapable of doing that. So I have to be very, very careful on how, well, that's not true. I am capable. Um, I can allow myself to vent and I can hold it back so it doesn't go out, but I, I, can't do it for very long. It's a very, very short period of time. And I have to move from one point to the other. I've just got a few seconds that I can allow myself to vent before it shoots out and comes back and causes me trouble. Uh, Stephanie is a witch, so I think that's part of it. Uh, she's a warrior and she's a witch, so she knows how energy works and she has very little amnesia. So she knows how it works, whereas G-Man, although he doesn't remember it, is a very, very long-term human, and he naturally knows how to control those creative vibrations. Now, the trouble with, I think, a, a lot of humans is instead of saying, wow, what can we learn from G-Man? What can we learn from 
um, Stephanie? What can we learn from the guy that's checking me out? What can we learn from these other people so we can improve our memory and our talents and our abilities back to God's status? Is we pick one. Humans are really bad about picking one. Okay, let's pick the Pope or let's pick uh, Graham or let's pick Tole and let's copy them. And that is you guys' mistake. You shouldn't be doing that. You should be following your instincts. Your instincts will take you to what you need to learn, remember, fix, and you'll find the person that you need in that moment. And it probably is not going to be anybody who has a book. And you learn from each and every individual, every animal, every plant, every weather change. You can learn from all of that. Uh, whether or not you do so is up to you. How you respond to any situation is a mirror. It's a mirror. To ignore that mirror will get you nowhere. So if something is, if you don't like Trump and Trump's in your face, it's a mirror. Why are you mad? What are you upset about? Um, mostly, the last video, although it was very much from Brenda's perspective, all of that was very true. That is the way it is. It's not meant to be angry or evil it's it's a game it's a play that's why we were laughing but it very much was brenda's perspective not naya's my naya's perspective is pulled way back makes it almost in, impossible for me to go fix a sandwich naya cannot fix a sandwich she doesn't want to eat she doesn't see the point in eating i have to if you want me to stay alive, I have to be Brenda to go get water and have a sandwich. Naya isn't the least bit interested in all of those. Naya is not the least bit interested in staying alive in human form. So I have to connect to the physical consciousness. I have to connect to the Brenda consciousness in order to do my day by day. And to be in this physical body that I beat up so bad and to connect with the Brenda perspective is not fun. I have a very, very big history and it's not fun. It's much easier to be as Naya, but it's not um, easy to live a human life from the Naya perspective. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? And well done, Stephanie Starr. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Huge hugs, bye now.